Give up the funk. Gotta have that funk. That is singer, songwriter, and funk legend George Clinton, along with Parliament Funkadelic from their induction to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. George Clinton is my guest tonight. This is Full Circle. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're giving up the funk. I'm Anderson Cooper. George Clinton is a musical legend. He's been writing, producing, singing, and songwriting hits since the 1950s. Clinton's music was revolutionary in the 70s for its mixture of R&B, soul, and funk. Parliament Funkadelic, his group, was known for their incredible live performances. In the early 90s, Clinton's music inspired a whole new generation of artists, rappers like Ice Cube and Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, along with rock groups like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Clinton's received so many accolades for his work, well-deserved, a Grammy, an NAACP Image Award, multiple platinum, platinum records. In 1997, uh, Clinton's Parliament Funkadelic was inducted, as you showed you, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Most recently, he was on a final tour with Parliament Funkadelic in preparing for retirement. The pandemic shut down the tour. Not his creative spirit, though. George Clinton spends most of his time at home in Tallahassee, Florida. He joins me now for a segment we call You and Your Quarantine. George Clinton, welcome to Full Circle. It is awesome to have you. Thanks for being with us. Man, thanks. Good to see you again. How you been? Ben, I'm good. I'm good. So what, what's quarantine? Uh, been, what's it been like you know, for you? I'm, yeah, I'm pandemic, quarantine, and all of that with my art. I call it artsy fartsy pandemic sequestered funk. And that's what I'm doing here now. Yeah, man. You, you've been doing a lot of painting. Yeah, that's, what, that's all I've been doing. I've been locked up. You know, I can't go nowhere. How long have you been no painting more. for? Well, I'm, well, I've been painting for years, but this here series started right at the beginning of the year. You know, when we shut down, I've been locked in here. But I've been doodling forever, you know. But my art teacher here, he got me thinking I can do something for real. So I got locked in the pandemic series, and it's working out pretty good. What do you like about painting? I mean, it helps you chill, you know, it helps you get that. It's almost like making records, you know. I get to mix it. I get the blend. I get the conversation, the, the linguistics of it. And you know what I'm saying? And I have to mix it down just like I mix a record with all of the flavors and the colors. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. the same and spirit I heard, when I do this. I heard it. it I saw you were doing some uh, some birdhouses as well. And we, in fact, we have some video, I think, that you posted on Instagram um, uh, of you doing some birdhouses. How did that start? Well, I run out of I run out of canvases. I bought all the canvases in town, so my wife stopped bringing me the birdhouses, and um, that's when you got in touch with me and, and you created something else. I had to actually start doing more birdhouses. Now that's all I do is birdhouses. <laughs> huh? That's awesome. Yeah. And I also understand you collaborated recently with Public Enemy on their new album. It's a brand new paradigm out here. And what you going to do Is when it? the grid go down? I mean, and they, I love they that. own it with the uh, funkosophy, you know, the funk philosophy, funk funkosophy. <laughs> I like it. That's the well, new I love the title, that's, too. That's the new language. But yeah, what you going to do when the grid go down? Yeah. yeah I mean, we've all been just, asking us, it, ourselves that question. It, yeah, they, I mean, this is that that season right now where anything can happen. You know, we got <laughs> to be at least, sure. um, least aware of that in our heads anyway. So, um, you know, uh, it's kind of, you know, obviously everybody's, there's been difficulty for everybody for in, in different ways. I mean, some people have lost loved ones, some people have lost their jobs. Um, but when, you know, you spent a lot of time on the road touring, you got a lot of stuff going on, to suddenly go from, you know, uh, from 60 to zero to, you know, being in your house, I find it hard. Like, I haven't been on a plane in a long time. I usually am on a plane a couple of times a week going someplace, and all of a sudden, you know, I, suddenly you're grounded. How has that been for you? It's, it's, I found it, it's been hard for me. I'm wondering what it's like for you, because, I mean, the excitement of having a live audience, all that gone has got to be really tough. It was, it was actually an opportunity for me to slow down for a minute and reflect on what I was doing. We were going real hard at just when it shut down. I got my grandkids and the a new band, all of us. We was getting ready to go hard. And this reality is something 
I was contemplating for a while. I mean, you can see the, the first pandemic thing that would happen right along now was going to be much serious than it would have been with any other time. And mm -hmm. when I started seeing it coming, I knew that real early, this was the time to just don't even waste energy doing anything else but shut down and let, let mm. you know, let us collect ourselves. Because it was real to me right from the beginning. You know, you can, mm. you've been around the world, you've seen people having to deal with those kind of situations, wearing masks and everything in a lot of other countries. Yeah. Well, I'm familiar with when that's a reality. I knew right away it's a reality. So I actually got a lot of rest that I was because I was calling myself getting ready to retire. But I, I yeah, wanted I to do one more tour with the. So this gave me a time to sit down and get it together and be ready. And, and Public Enemy set the pace for how we getting ready to come back at it. People gonna I, see I don't that believe George. Cl I don't believe George Clinton's ever going to retire. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think so either. I feel, I, feel, I feel like even in what you might call retirement, that's going to be like, you're going to be at like double speed compared to anyone else who's got a full-time job. I mean, you're like, you, you, you gotta, you, you're an artist. You got to create, whether it's birdhouses and painting or music or whatever it may be. I feel well, like. You, you give me an excuse, I'll go for it. <laughs> uh, hey, is there? I'm, I'm, we're looking at some video of you playing. Just, I mean, to be on a stage, I, it's, I cannot sing. I got no creativity in that uh, realm at all. But I just think it's got to be the most incredible thing to be on a stage, having this incredible band with you, and being able to convey all that stuff to uh, to a room, a huge room full of people. It's just got to be intoxicating. When you got a band, when you got a band that helped you communicate it, you can do it really easy. Just get into it. I mean, even to the point of nonsensical. It's a groove. It's a flow. It's a vibe. Once you get into it, um, with a good band, you know, hey, people, it make the people part of it because people want to be a part of the show too. So you actually mm -hmm. include the people, and you mostly everybody gets satisfied. Because they, you know, they can fulfill themselves. You just be the yeah, bridge that they might can cross over to be the excuse to let. I'm gonna go and get down because Funkadelic's playing tonight. That's the way people used to look at it. I'm gonna yeah. get down tonight because they turn us loose. So you know, uh, I I don't like to talk about it often, but I, I I got pulled up on a stage at a concert by Madonna and to dance with her, and. I did the worst job ever of dance. I was terrible. I was so. I mean, I just, I just, just, I, I, in my mind, I was going to be amazing and it was going to be one of those things and people are going to go nuts. I've seen the video. It's just like cringeworthy and awful. Have you ever pulled somebody up on the stage like me who then just totally fails? They don't fail if they don't believe they fail. That's, you know, that's in the head. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but they probably got 15,000 people telling them they failed. You're supposed to look stupid. That's what it's called, getting stupid. You're supposed to let go <laughs> and take everything that comes with that concept. If you're supposed to be, yeah. do that with a smile, then you always will succeed. Ain't See, no that was my problem. You let go. That's <laughs> my problem. I, I didn't let go. I just looked oh, stupid because no, I was get, so worried about letting go. You have to do it worse. You let, do it Man, worse I, well, the next I, time. I got to go to, I got to, you know, I got to get some funk is what I need. I, I got to get the funk. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, clearly. That's what you got to do. Get the funk, and then you don't give a funk. You get it. You cool. <laughs> it's called uh, do the best once you I, can. But, but once I get the funk, why do I have to give the, it up? Why do I would have to, why would I want to give up the funk if, if I got it's it? It's in you. You got to give it up. You got to let it out to you. You got to give it up. <laughs> do the best you can and then say funk it. Uh huh. I don't know. I've waited all my life to get some funk, and I feel like if I got it now, I would just hold on to it. I wouldn't want to give it up. Well, you know, you call the we we doing this show right now. You got some funk now. You, you got <laughs> funk from now on. <laughs> um, I hey, listen. You did take a big road trip uh, since the pandemic to speak at the March on Washington back in August in December. I saw you there, and I just want to play a clip of that for our viewers. Our work does not start and end with our march today, displaying our unified mind, nor does it end November 3rd at the ballot box, understanding that our vote is just an indication that we are willing 
and committed from November 4th on to build our country back better, build it back green, build it back with equal justice, build it back of the people, by the people, and for the people. Why did you, I mean, I think it's, it's awesome that, you know, in the midst of all of this, with all this going on, so many people came to Washington to, to have their voices heard. Why was it important for you to be there? We got the vote. We got the vote, and anybody that can lend a voice to help that become a reality, we got to vote. This, this is that moment where there's a paradigm shift. Anyway it goes down, it's going to be a paradigm shift. But we need to be a part of whatever the shift going to be as opposed to laying out and letting it happen because if you don't vote, you're still getting, you know, participating, whether you like yeah. it or not. So yeah. we got to vote and... You know, I'm not a whole lot of political and all that. For the most part, I'm interested. But you can feel when it's real. It's, when it's real, you can feel it. And it ain't no mm. uh, intellectual dance you can do to not right. that you unfeel it. You know, you, 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 it's, it's real. You can feel that now. Nobody don't mm. know what they're doing that's leading us right now. None of them, they don't know, have a clue. It's all about money right now, and that's all that's going on. It's money for real, and mm. a lot of people will go along for money, but it ain't the time to go for some money. And that money that's going around now is leading us down a real serious place. You know that I, you know, it blew my it blew my high mentally. You know, for real. Well, you're 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 in, you're in Florida, a particularly important uh, state for uh, you know for for votes to be oh, cast in. So. Yeah, well, I'm I'm I don't even want to go out. The, I, you know, I, I don't even go out the house for the most part, though. You know, uh, mm -hmm. we got to be safe. That's all I'm saying. We got to be safe. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's absentee ballots, uh, which uh, obviously even the president, yeah. who doesn't like mail-in voting in Florida, he says it's fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, George well, Clinton, got, uh, it's uh, sorry. Go ahead, sir. I got my absentee ballot. I'm taking it down tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Good for you. Hey, listen, it's such an honor to talk to you. I'm, I'm really just, uh, I, you know, your career just, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's just extraordinary. Um, and thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us about your quarantine. Really appreciate it. Thank you, bro. All right. Hope appreciate to see you back on the road soon. All right. You take care. We'll be back at 6 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. Remember, you can stream the show at any time by going to CNN.com slash full circle. And you can sign up for alerts from the CNN app. Until then, tune day C360 on CNN, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you soon.